Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about drawing in perspective. Now this is a really easy thing to start out doing, but as I've noticed from cl our class discussions that a lot of students, while they might have a background in drawing in perspective, there's a lot of steps that get skipped because it is such a basic way of sketching out three-dimensional spaces on a flat surface. So I want to do a really quick review here in this video before we move on to the actual drawing part. Um, to do this though, you are going to need the typical tools that we always have. Uh, pencil, paper, and a straight edge. And a straight edge can be anything. It can be a ruler or it can be you know, a piece of cardboard, mat board, anything that obviously will give you a straight line. Hence the name straight edge. Now there's a couple things you have to keep in mind when drawing in perspective. Obviously you're going to be putting all these objects on a flat surface, but you want to give the illusion as though they're three-dimensional. And to do that you have to remember two specific things. Two specific things. Uh, the first one is a horizon line. A horizon line is that imaginative line where um, like the air separates the ground. Now the interesting thing about that is it doesn't always necessarily mean that it's always you know separating air and ground, but it means where is the viewer actually looking at? Where is the eye line from where the viewer is actually seeing the objects? Um, I'm upstairs in my house right now and I'm staring at a, a house directly across the street from me and I can see the roof of the house mainly because I'm upstairs. So my eye line, the horizon line, is actually a little bit more elevated than it would be if I was downstairs where a horizon actually would be. Um, a lot of people get this confused because they think horizon, horizon line, that always means it is air and, and ground. But the key thing to think about is the horizon line is what splits areas in half, sort of, so that you know where the placement of objects should be. The second thing that you need to keep in mind is something called a vanishing point. A vanishing point is a very simple dot somewhere on the horizon line. It can only be on the horizon line, so you can't have vanishing points hovering up in the air or vanishing points hovering down on the ground. It can only be on the uh, horizon line, and that point is where all the lines actually recede to when you're drawing. Now if this is sounding familiar, it's probably because you've done this in another class before where you've drawn geometric objects and you've made all the lines going back and forth. And we're going to do this. We're going to actually draw in one point, two point, and discuss three and four point perspective. The differences are the amount of vanishing points that you have in a drawing and the realisticness that they end up looking like. So without further ado, scroll down to the next video and we'll discuss actually what it takes to create a perspective drawing. Remember, you need to have pencil, paper, um, and a straight edge. And if you're using a drawing pencil, make sure that you got a good eraser. I'm looking right now and I don't have an eraser and it would be a good idea to have a good one just in case you make a couple mistakes. All right.